Council of Scientific and Industrial Research established in 1942, is an autonomous body and India's largest research and development organization, with 37 laboratories and 39 field stations or extension centers spread across the nation, with a collective staff of over 17,000. Although CSIR is mainly funded by the Ministry of Science and Technology, it operates as an autonomous body registered under the Registration of Societies Act of 1860. The research and development activities of CSIR includes various fields such as aerospace engineering, structural engineering, ocean sciences, life sciences, metallurgy, chemicals, mining, food, petroleum, leather, and environment. In December 2006, Director General Raghunath A. Mashankar, retired following which M. K. Ben took over the post, but he was relieved on March 7, 2007. After that T. Ramasamy had the additional charge of Director General of CSIR until Samir K. Brahmakari was appointed as the Director General on November 13, 2007. In late 2007, the Minister of Science and Technology, Kapil Shibal admitted, in a question-hour session of the Parliament, that CSIR has developed 1,376 technologies knowledge base during the last decade of 20th century. History In 1930s the need for establishing research organizations for the development of natural resources and new industries in India began to emerge. Eminent citizens such as C. V. Raman, Lt. Col. Seymour Sewell and J. C. Osh has proposed the creation of an advisory board of scientific research. Sir Richard Gregory then editor of Nature, was among the first people who officially reported to the British government. After visiting scientific departments and universities in India in 1933, Gregory submitted to Samuel Hall, Secretary of State for India, regarding the need of scientific organizations similar to the DSIR in Britain. Indian scientists at Calcutta and Bangalore initiated schemes to launch a National Institute of Sciences and an Indian Academy of Sciences respectively. At the Fifth Industries Conference in 1933, the provincial governments of Bombay, Madras, Bihar and Orissa unanimously reiterated their demand for a coordinating forum for industrial research. Hall advised the Viceroy, Lord Willingdon, to support the demand. However, in May 1934, Willingdon replied Hall saying, the creation of a Department of Scientific and Industrial Research in India to promote the application of research to natural resources does not appear to be necessary. The Indian DSIR was rejected, however, the colonial government provided a small concession. It instead offered to create an Industrial Intelligence and Research Bureau, which came into operation in April 1935 under the Indian Stores Department. The Bureau's limited resources made it impossible to initiate major research and industrial activities as had hoped for. It was mainly concerned with testing and quality control. At the onset of World War II in 1939, the Bureau was proposed to be abolished. Arguably, Arkot Ramasamy Mudalia became the most instrumental in the creation of CSIR in India. As a member of Viceroy Euro Unregistered Trademark S Executive Council, and also of commerce, he recommended that the Bureau should be terminated, not as a measure of economy, but to make room for a board of scientific and industrial research, which should be endowed with greater resources and wider objectives. It was by this persistence that the Board of Scientific and Industrial Research was created on April 1, 1940 for a period of two years. Mudalia became the chair of the board. It was at this point that Bhatnagar was appointed to pilot the board, as the director. The BSIR was allocated an annual budget of 500,000 Indian rupees under the Department of Commerce. By the end of 1940, about 80 researchers were engaged, of whom one quarter was directly employed. Major achievements of BSIR included development of the techniques for the purification of Balochist and sulfur anti-gas cloth manufacture, vegetable oil blends as fuel and lubricants, plastic packing cases for army boots and ammunition, dyes for uniforms and the preparation of vitamins, and the invention of a pyrethrum emulsifier and cream. In early 1941 Bhatnagar persuaded the government to set up an industrial research utilization committee for translating results into application. 
the government then agreed to make a separate fund out of the royalties received from industry for further investment into industrial research. Mudalia recommended that an industrial research fund should be constituted, which would have an annual grant of 1 million Indian rupees for a period of five years. This was accepted by the Central Assembly in Delhi at its session on November 14, 1941. Then the constitution of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research as an autonomous body was prepared under Mudalia and Batnika. Thus, CSIR came into operation on September 28, 1942. The BSIR and IRUC were incorporated into the advisory bodies to the governing body of the CSIR. In 1943 the governing body of CSIR approved the proposal of Batnika, though the initiative of Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, to establish five national laboratories a euro the National Chemical Laboratory, the National Physical Laboratory, the Fuel Research Station, and the Glass and Ceramics Research Institute. In 1944 in addition to its annual budget of 1 million Indian rupees, CSIR received a grant of 10 million Indian rupees for the establishment of these laboratories. The Tato Industrial House donated 2 million Indian rupees for the chemical, metallurgical and fuel research laboratories. The foundation for the Central Glass and Ceramic Research Institute at Kolkata was the first to be laid, in December 1945. And that for the National Chemical Laboratory at Pune was the last, on April 6, 1947, four months before India became independent. All the five establishments were completed by 1950. CSIR achievements Developed first Indian tractor Siraj in 1967 completely based on indigenous know-how, achieved the first breakthrough of flowering of bamboo within weeks as against 20 years in nature. First to analyze genetic diversity of the indigenous Andamanese tribes and to establish their origin out of Africa 60,000 years ago. Developed the first transgenic drosophila model for drug screening for cancer in humans. First to introduce DNA fingerprinting in India. Helped India to be the first pioneer investor under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Invented, once a week non-steroidal family planning pills Aelian non-steroidal herbal pill for asthma called Asman. Designed India's first ever parallel processing computer flow solver. Partnered more than 50,000 companies with turnover ranging from RS 5 lakhs to RS 500,000 crores. Rejuvenated India's 100-year-old refinery at Dukboy using the most modern molecular distillation technology. Provided the critical technology for the NMP loop extraction plant of capacity of 2, 50,000 tons per year. With TCS, developed a versatile portable PC-based software bio-suite for bioinformatics. Design a 14-seater plane SARAS. Established first ever in the world traditional knowledge digital library accessible in five international languages, English, German, French, Japanese and Spanish. Remained in top three in the list of PCT patent applications amongst all developing countries. Top list of holders of U.S. patents. Successfully challenged the grant of patent in the USA for use of Hordy for wound healing and Nema's insecticide. In 2009, completed the sequencing of the human genome. In 2011, successfully tested India's first indigenous civilian aircraft, NALNM-5 made in association with National Aerospace Laboratories and Mahindra Aerospace. Bhopal Disaster December 1985 Report HTTPS Pipalgas Disaster Files WordPress Com 12 slash Xe Report on Scientific Studies December 1985 PDF Shanti Sarut Bhatnagar Prize for Science and Technology The Shanti Sarut Bhatnagar Prizes are awarded annually by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research for notable and outstanding research, applied or fundamental, in biological, chemical, earth, atmosphere, ocean and planetary, engineering, mathematical, medical and physical sciences. The prize comprises a citation, a plaque, and a cash award of Rs 500,000. In addition recipients also get Rs 15,000 per month up to the age of 65 years. Research laboratories under CSIR. Journals, 18 journals and 3 popular science magazines are available under open access from NOPA website. Controversies, 
CSIR has been flagged in ongoing efforts to root out corruption in India. Despite being established with the directive to do translational research and create real technologies, CSIR has been accused of devolving into an ritualistic, overly bureaucratic organization that does little more than churn out papers. There are many issues facing Indian scientists, with some, such as MIT systems scientist B. A. Shiva Anadurai, calling for transparency, a meritocratic system, and an overhaul of the bureaucratic agencies that oversee science and technology. Sumit Bajurai stated, a Euro A. T. He challenges of turning Indian science into part of an innovation process are many. A Euro many competent Indian scientists aspire to be ineffectual administrators, due to administrative power and political patronage, rather than do the kind of science that makes a difference. The Euro Prime Minister Manmohan Singh spoke at the 99th Indian Science Congress and commented on the state of the sciences in India, after an advisory council informed him there were problems with the Euro OEV overall environment for innovation and creative work. A Euro and AA Euro Wolaki a Euro unregistered trademark approach was needed. See also References External links, CSIR Facebook page, CSIR News page, Innovation Demands Freedom, System Defeat Scientist Return, CSIR Tech Path Forward by V.A. Shiva Anadurai and Deepak Sardana.